Indian chieftain with all the extras, pops and babs. So it's a very heavy machine. Okay, very heavy machine indeed. Oh my god! I fell through that as a personal achievement. God dang. For now it is extended and we leave it for that for a little bit. Charger. Interesting. It's all in Dutch, but present journey. I like to see the map for now. Okay, shifting is a little bit weird. And braking is probably gonna be even worse. With the rear brake, but it's so far away. But that's a little bit learning as we go. So this is more a first ride than the FTR was because this is 45 minutes of riding time. You really have to work stuff like the handle for the clutch and the brake are big chunky handles. You can really smash the gear lever and you can feel it shift. Ooh. Okay, that one might have been a little bit too much. God dang. Up was great, down went uh, fucky wacky for my back. This has the silent exhaust and a noisy exhaust option. So guess what we're gonna do at the tunnel? Then open the exhaust. You can already hear it a little bit. Then shift down. Let's turn that off again. <laughs> that was a very, very noisy. So yeah, there's a open and closed exhaust. Same like the Bobber 60 in front of me XP has. Obviously there's an add-on. Does not come standard with that. It is such a big machine. So you're so much out of the wind that you're actually getting it slightly hard at this speed. They did warn that it is a very heavy machine, it's the heaviest bike in this group and if it goes you're not going to be able to stop it. Like if you fall over you're not going to keep it upright yourself. And that's something to keep in your mind. Well, experience this bike. Don't think it's cruise control but it has an on and off button, so your start button, your windscreen. It can go down to get a little bit more wind and can go up to the state it was. You can set your mirrors or I think it is, I don't know. No, that's your cruise control. Oh wait, maybe like this. So now set <gasps> and then this is lower. It's cruise control baby, hell yeah. Cruise control is amazing. I can just speed up. With a little knob. Slow down with a little knob. And I have active cruise control. Oh man. It already was a couch. Now it's really a couch. I'm really scared to put the crash bars on the ground. In those corners. I don't like how quickly the, the, the cruise control gets turned off. Like. I think the moment you brake, yeah, the moment you brake, it's turned off. It's also one of those roads where this machine feels so big. I mean, I know it is a big machine, but it also feels big in this road. Whee! On that road, ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that was something huge. Nice. Okay, back you go. Probably also helps with the audio of my voice. So yeah, not much talked about the bike yet, other than that it sits very comfortable and that's one of the main things. It has so many functions I cannot go 
across all of them in this small ride. For all those functions I need to park the bike and actually talk about them one by one. Cruise control is important, we have radio, but yeah, not gonna blast music. He has a massive, massive horn, adjustable windscreen, built-in navigation, open exhaust option. Wait, where was he parked here? God dang it. On a slope with this massive machine. You're kidding me. Sport. Open exhaust. Okay, so he told me I can lean it over farther than I think. So we're gonna try that. Oh my god! This is more sound than feeling. FDI is definitely more feeling. Like, oh, oh my god, this is just... It blows so much sound. I love this exhaust if it is open, it's so loud. I mean, obviously it's too loud to do any intercity riding. But as soon as you get home, you just... Bleep! And silent. Absolutely silent. On. And it makes a lot of noise. So much wind! It's vibrating my helmet. I have no idea what it does with audio, but it's vibrating my helmet. Um, so if I do this down, does that become worse? Now it's more my chest and probably the camera instead of just my visor and my visor. <laughs> All them big ass choppers and I'm blowing our horns. <laughs> It feels so easy to do this. You just don't want to over push it. Okay. Break cruise control, so we're going faster, we're gonna drop down again. We're gonna hit cruise control speed. And it keeps on the cruise control speed. Oh man, life is so easy. Cruise control makes it so easy. Big bump. No brake needed. <laughs> it is so noisy, it's not good man. It is so noisy. I mean, I will probably never buy it. Let's be honest. But if you know you're gonna do like, I don't know, 1000 kilometers in a day, the touch 1000 or whatever, then I mean this is worth to rent it. And it has enough power in it to be aggressive. Look at the slow speed control. It all seems so easy, yet it weighs so much. This in some way also puts a smile on my face. A different smile, but a smile nonetheless. Overtake on the inside on the roundabout. It is so much bike. Then again, it's so much money. So, two fuel caps, nice leather patch. So, it has the details that a lot of people get from a Harley as well. It has the comfiness. Now, I want to create as much distance as possible 
for this upcoming two corners. Good. I'm scraping. I'm scraping the chieftain. <laughs> oh! Amazing. I hope they don't mind. What amazing. I was scraping the chieftain. Oh my god. I fell through that as a personal achievement. God dang. Absolutely amazing. What an ending to this video. What an ending to this ride. My corners, dude. And silent. Well, somewhat silent. <laughs> oh, my man. My man, my dude. Hopefully that scraping deserves a like and subscribe from you guys. At least a like, come on. If you're never gonna watch a video from me again, at least give me a like for the scraping. I know you want to.